Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're coming across a cannot find script file, VBS error when you're trying to sign into your Windows computer. So just for example, if we sign into our Windows computer here, we're going to notice we're going to have an issue, a little pop-up once our computer has loaded up a little bit. Okay, so you can see we have this little error message here that I made this video about. So cannot find the script file. And you can see what drive letter and then Windows, System32 Windows. Please take note of the drive letter out front here. This is going to be important later on. So if you have the C drive, like you see in my case, you can just follow along exactly with what I do. If you have a different letter, you're going to have to make one small change in a little bit, which I will show you guys. So anyway, we're going to tap on the Control alt delete keys on our keyboard at the same time. And then we're going to select Task Manager. Select the File tab, and then select Run New Task. In this open field, you want to type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And then check mark this box where it says Create this task with Administrator Privileges, and then select OK. Now, you want to go double click on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Now Windows NT. Double click on that and then do the same thing for current version. And then locate the Win Logon folder right here. And if you need to pause the video and take note of the path, it's up at the top of our screen here so we can see where we are currently in our registry. And now on the right side, you want to locate the user INIT value. So it should be near the bottom. So go ahead and double click on that. Now you want to delete whatever is in this value data field here. And you want to type it in exactly as it appears on my screen. So accept the first letter if your Windows drive is something other than the C drive. So in my case, it's C. So I'm going to type in uppercase C, followed by a colon. Then I'm going to do a backslash. Now I'm going to type in Windows backslash system32 backslash user in it and then add a dot exe on the end. So I will have this up on the screen. I will have it in the description and you can also see it right here as well. So again C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash user in it dot exe and then there's going to be a comma after the exe. So again, that's important here. So there's a comma after the exe. Do not omit that. That is part of it. So make sure it is as you can see it. I have it in three separate locations. There's no reason you should mess this up. So, you know, somebody always finds a way to mess things up, it seems, on my comment section. But I, I can't imagine how people can, you know, mess things up. But somebody will find a way to mess this up. But Again, type it in exactly as it appears on my screen. Select OK. Again, as it appears, very important or you're not going to fix the problem, basically. I mean, that's the truth of it. So once we're done with that, close out of here. Select the Users tab and then right click on whatever user you're currently logged into. Select Disconnect. Make sure you want to disconnect the selected users. Select Disconnect User. And now you want to go sign back into your account. And that should be about it. You might have to restart your computer just to do a hard power off too if for some reason it's still a black screen once you have signed back in. But generally speaking, this should be sufficient for most of you guys. So we're just going to wait for our desktop to load up here. And you can see we're back in business. So pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.